Anyway, Warsim, the realm of Azlona. It's been in early access since 2017, and I have played it. I played it originally back in 2017. This is a game that uh, uh, those of you that like Dwarf Fortress will probably like this one. Um, it's not the prettiest thing to look at. In fact, in fact it's ASCII and, and very text-heavy, uh, but it's very heavy on like the random and the procedural generation. Um, it's actually a pretty deep game, and um, it's it's kind of neat to see how that comes through playing essentially a, uh, a, a narrative, um, like a text-based narrative-driven game. Um, fantasy style, we are running a kingdom, and there's like bandits out there, and, and these all of these all the races are procedur procedurally generated. Like I, everything is is randomly done, and it has this like deep lore with each game, kind of like how Dwarf Fortress does it, as a matter of fact. Uh, made by one guy, uh, Hugh. I think it's how you pronounce that, Hugh Millward, uh, who's been working on this thing forever. And finally, 1.0 is here, and uh, I have been looking forward to this. So this is. Um, our time to check it out. So, I'll try to show off uh, what, what what I'll show off what I can here, and see what like I'll try to show off the the generation and the lore and all that because that's really the neat part of the game. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna be a new game here first. Uh, here you decide what your world will look like. This choice completely shapes the game, uh, so choose wisely. So we can pull from a list of ninety four million races to make a unique world. <laughs> Uh, we can select our races, uh, elves, dwarves, whatever. We can do a custom game where we like customize each race. Uh, there's preset race packs where there's like a there's like a Tolkien pack and there's like a um, uh, all human pack. There's a beast men pack. There's an orc and goblin pack and you know there's sort of the, the standard sets. Um, we're gonna go random. Uh, we're gonna see what this game can do. That's the point of this. Is what I like about the game is just how crazy it is. All those faces are generated as well. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go all in with that. Do you want to leave the races that you fill your world completely up to fate, or would you like a chance to select another random lot until you find one you're happy with? No, leave it up to fate, please. How long do you want your game to run for? Um, so this is uh, like I think this is like the end of your like the, at the end of 25 years or whatever. We can stop and call it a day, and then it sort of like simulates what happens afterwards. Or you can continue playing. You don't have to, it's not, there's not a set in stone end, but we're going to go with the first one. I'm not sure if we can get through it today, but we'll see. <clears throat> Alright, choose the music you would like to play during the game. Well, I would like... Um, I think I played the... Eight, let's, let's do the classic theme. And right, we'll do the 8-bit. Um, here you choose if you want to be known as king, queen, or something else. Uh, I am king. You want to make your own name or have one randomly generated? I want my own name. Yeah, give me a uh, give me a random masculine name. Your name will be Seowulf the Condemned. I love it. I love it. Do you want to make your own kingdom name or have? Yes, please. Make, give me one. We will be called the Ancient Clanlands. That's good. That's good. I want a different one. Tarvek, even better. Okay. So we're going to go with uh, normal mode. Uh, yeah, yeah. Normal mode is fine. You were ruler of the kingdom of Tarvek, once a great and mighty empire, fighting against the troublesome rebellion of Faradol, the Kinslayer, and the hordes of bandit lords uh, loyal to Fëanor, overlord of the bandit horde, as well as several minor bandit gangs who pester your lands. The world is vast and complex. There is much to see and do and little time to waste. From the fabled ancient lands to the blood-soaked arena, these lands call to the be united under the flag of Darvik. Okay. So let's generate some things. Um, and essentially we're king and we kind of just kind of go through the motions of, of running a kingdom. We can also go out and explore. We can go out and send our armies out. We can raise armies up. Uh, all that is sort of built in here as sort of a, a kingdom management game. Hey, body, how's it going? The annals of history rem uh, remember you well, uh, your rise to the throne. How did it happen? Um, I stole the throne with demonic trickery to serve the overlord. Mm -hmm. I think, um... Yeah, my enslaved forces were able to overthrow the previous ruler. I like I like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah. We took a, took arms and and took it back. We were, you were a prominent slaver who ended up ruling. Wait a minute. 
I don't want that. <laughs> I, know, I know I was the other way around. <laughs> Who ended up ruling the slavers' forts? He took your. I guess I read that wrong. He took your slave army and made a calculated attack on the Tarvik garrison, successfully defeating it and, ex and executing the king. Now you rule, but the people are terrified of you and may plot to remove you. Hey, Harley, how's it going? So because of that, we, uh, um, whoops. <laughs> we, people don't like us. We do have a lot of units that serve under us, and I rule the slaver fort. I'm invited to the royal crowning ceremony where you can learn of your newly inherited realm. Uh, of course, you are the ruler of this kingdom and can also ignore the ceremony completely. No, I ignore that kind of garbage. My king, now that you're crowned, you may speak to Old Kroll, if you wish, for any tutoring on matters of the realm. If you're uh, unsure what to do, no, no, give me, leave me alone. Let me run this place. Diplomat nods and bows, saying, if you do require any tutoring, find me in the throne room and I can happily help. Off with his head. All right, so we've got, uh, this is like an old bullets board game. Uh, we have... Gold, men, lands, public opinion, and 25 years to do this. So, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to run through. We can explore the realm. Uh, we've got so many so many things we can do each each year. And then, and then you know, it advances. 25 years to do something. So, let's go ahead and we'll do a little exploring first. Okay, explore the realm. We're going to go north. Let's go to the northern lands and see what we can find. <laughs> Thanks, Basilith. Uh, the near north is a cold place, though mild compared to the rest of the world. Places filled with forts and places of violence, such as the Brawler's Pit and the Thickborn Tavern. There's also a slaver's fort there. Hey, that's mine! You arrive at your slaver fort. There are many men here, slaves and slavers alike, and there are many who seek to purchase slaves from you, and a great many slavers waiting for work. I'm pretty sure we're, yeah, yeah, we're the bad guys. We're the bad guys, in case that was any question there. We're north to visit Santa this, this life. <laughs> um, well, um, we can upgrade the walls. We can disband it. Uh, let's go enter the Great Halls. Enter the Great Hall of the Slaver's Fort. The room is full of slaves hard at work, cleaning and maintaining the hall, which itself is a marvel to behold. In the center of the room, you, uh, the black marble throne sits empty. Uh, let's learn about the history. Uh, the fort was, was formed centuries ago by many rival slaver dens that operated across the realm, but mainly to the east. Following a war between many of the slaver groups, a pact was signed whereby a council of masters from each clan and den would sit, and thus the war ended. The council chose the north to settle in it as it's easier to defend and would attract less trouble than anywhere else. Over the time, the council grew smaller just until one man held charge, the slave master. However, the cunning and strength of the slaver's fort is now in your hands. I can order a brawl. Speak to a random slaver. No, you know what? Uh, let's let's leave this place. We can view the punishment wall. Eh, let's, let's leave this place. And um, I, I think we're just gonna leave. We got we got two more uh, things. Let's go let's go look east. Eastern grasslands. The Farah Desert is where a very warm place. Suited knights avoid this place uh, as best as possible. The desert is filled with magic and mystery. Um, I think we can keep going. Keep going east if we want. Uh, we found the eastern trade post. Come upon a small trading post settled on the dune. This is known locally, locally as the eastern trading post. You enter and are greeted warmly. Uh, we can trade. Yeah, let's trade. Trade post master bows and says, Good, I agree to the trade. Let us both become moderately more wealthy because of this deal. All right. All right. Um, we can attack them. We can speak with the guy. I think last time I came in the game, I think I went in my town. I tried to rob my own, my own bank. And then the peasants uh, like like rose up and threw me out. It wasn't really a pleasant uh, um, life. Let's go to the throne room. Seventeen people in here. Eighteen people in here. Welcome to my throne room. There's huge lines waiting to come and talk to me. So uh, be careful who you hire to be your steward, though. Stewards can have one of a number of different traits that affect how they manage and deal with the throne room visitors. Their traits are: we can have a xenophobe. We can have a dungeoneer. We can have a kind-hearted one. A military one, a goblin friend, or a money grubber. I think we want someone who will imprison most throne room visitors. <laughs> we want one of those. Um, okay, so we got 18 people waiting to see me. Uh, yeah, send in the next. Okay, a woodsman comes by shouting, My king, a man wearing your banner walked past my home this morning. I nodded to him. Apparently this caused offense. He walked up, kicked me into my house, and then urinated on my doorstep. <laughs> I asked for reparations. 
I can give him eight gold in reparations. I can refuse his request, or I can send him to the dungeons. Uh, to get out of here. Really? Okay, then. Well, uh, goodbye. He leaves your court. I don't like the way he said, okay, then. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, let's set some rules, first off. So let's change these. Um, I currently allow all of this nonsense in my throne room. So let's change that. No criminal cases. I don't want any of that. Uh, no begging allowed. Um, uh, no, no complaining allowed either. Goblins certainly not allowed. And uh, and rabble, please, please. Okay, oh, that that seems a little better. I figure if I keep my uh, if I keep my mind off of the problems of the realm, everything will be just fine. Next visitor, uh, a warborn hippogrifflingling warrior from warborn hippogriffling kingdom seeks to fight for you because you seem interesting. Yeah, come on in. Excellent. Uh, let's go. Actually, let me let me leave here real quick. I want to go look at. I want to see who else is in in the uh, in who are other races or, or or kingdoms are in this place. So I want to see uh, diplomacy. We've got. We're at war with some rebels. We're at war with some bandit horde. We're at war with the goblin kingdoms. There's some independent territories. There's a militia. The bandit. Where's the other folks at? I want to see. Um. Any reports. Um, I think we'll see it after this year. I think we'll I think we'll see everything. The jesters tell good dad jokes. If it's not a good dad joke, <laughs> dungeons with him. Uh, let's go to the local. Let's do a, a local pit fight. Okay, ten fights scheduled today. Uh, we're gonna go bet on a fight. Pay twenty-two gold feet uh, to watch the fights. Uh, I'm gonna bet on the gladiator. How much gold am I gonna bet? Uh, we're gonna put a hundred hundred bucks on this. The gates slide open as the crowd chatters away. Two fighters emerge from either end of the pit. They charge in and engage. The fight has begun. The gladiator ducks a swift bow from the peasants like it's nothing. The crowd cheers. So do I. The gladiator gets a pair of uh, very fast strikes on the peasant. Excellent. Uh, the gladiator blocks a swing and then stops fighting for a moment for a high five. Uh, oh, they both do? What is this? What is this? It effortlessly, effortlessly placed a strike on the peasant. He's got 16 health left. He kicks him, and the peasant dies. The peasant has rolled dead onto the cold arena floor. The crowd roars, and I win my money. I got 150 bucks. All right. Um, we can watch all the fights at once. I can attack the pit. None of that. Um, oh, we do have to, to explore exploration things done. Let's go explore the west. Uh, Denlin is west of us. It's uh, the most peaceful places in all the realms. A little more than farmland and workers, and hardly any room for trouble at all. The land is fertile. And the folk are mostly happy. Mostly. Um, yeah, let's keep going. We have the Monfort Mine, which is run by the mining company. Monfort Mine, a large mining complex marked with spears prodding out of the ground, filled with miners chipping away and piling ore into small baskets. It's controlled by the Harlaw Mining Company, which is a company run by peasant miners. I can attack them. They have 350 men. I can offer to buy them in, uh, buy the mine. I can demand tributes. I can speak to the master. Let's, let's chat with the master. He bows to me. Um, I'm going to ask him about this company. Formed uh, out of some small independent mining groups and then hired lots of locals. It's a good operation. We get paid well. I would like... Um, what about this this ore you've got? It contains a lot of ore. Okay. Um, what about the west? What's, what's, what's going on west? West is our home. I don't uh, ignorantly claim it's the best place as I haven't been north, east, or south. I will say, however, that the west... Or at least where I have been is a very nice region. Well, that's very diplomatic of you. Um, okay, no need to uh, go in there. If I had more money, I think I'd buy that place. We get the main tribute or whatever. Also, <laughs> hey, Vituri, thank you very much. Happy holidays. Vituri, thanks for popping in here. And thanks for the sub. All right, we got one more thing to explore. Uh, let's go Let's go south. We can go, like, keep going, keep going. Um... These are the parched lands. It's warm and dry, and there's demonic whispers here. I spot a severed hand on the ground covered in blood. Okay. Okay. Let's go home. 
Uh, I would like to... Well, what's my answer to my staff? I have a diplomat and I have a general. I, I guess I need a, a steward. Can I hire a steward? Three potential stewards are sent to your court. They, you, you may speak to each of them. What are our skills? We have Ansel, Vampire Hater. We have Rottenham, the Spineless Coward. <laughs> or Drake, the Noteworthy Battle Baron. How about that guy? The one named Drake. Uh, I have helped a lot of struggling villages and territories in my time, and I will care for the lower class of people. I will serve you until I lose. I ask for payment of 80 gold a year. Okay, what about this Vampire Hater? I'm a good steward. In fact, it is, uh, it is fact, and I am used to be a general, so I know the importance of a big army. I'll help you grow it where I can. I would be... A supreme honor, it would be a supreme honor to be at your side. 126 gold per year. I feel the way that you grovel at my feet. You're hired. Uh, we don't need a jester yet. I will hire a spy master, though. Um, three potential spy masters are sent to your court. You may speak to each of them. Uh, let's go talk with uh, Krog's Ark, the brain damaged. <laughs> I'm really good at hide and seek. I would much enjoy serving you. I acquire 127 gold per year. Okay. Uh, we got the red, Alkirk. I regard it by kings and queens of the realm for my work. It would be my honor to serve you for 280 gold per year. We have Gugzug, the seductive. As a boy, I shadowed an infamous spy. He taught me much. I wouldn't mind serving you for 61 gold per year. I like your price. You're hired. Okay. Uh, should I get a jester as well? Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get one. We got uh, the herpetic dagger bearer. I like to look at life through the lens of foolery, and I specialize in orc jokes. Quite funny if you get to know me. 27 gold per year. Clarence. I can garner a great laugh, and I specialize in riddles. I was born a fool, and I can die your fool. And we have Sir Horan the Woe. Very funny. Specialize in everything. I'm an honest man. I probably won't make you laugh, but you'll be able you'll be slightly amused. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's like, he knows he's not funny. I like him. Uh, should I hire a champion? Um, oh, they're expensive. Crin the murderer here is 1500 bucks. I'm going to wait until we have a little more cash. Before we get a champion. <laughs> Just like that. Um, I want to go and... Uh, where's my... I can hire... Oh, recruit troops. So let's hire some units. I want to hire some soldiers, ideally. Yeah, from local guilds and forts. So I can get them. I got 250 men, 42 gold per head. I can afford 43 of them. I currently have 100 soldiers in the ranks. I'm going to take another 25. Here we go. 25 soldiers have just joined us. Okay. Um, I think I'm happy. Let's go ahead and, and um, end the year. We'll see what happens. Okay, my orders, what do we do? So we can go, at the end of every year, you can do a campaign or whatever. We can go attack the rebels, attack the bandit horde, attack the goblins. There's other folks we've got. So we've got the the Warborn Hippogrifflings. We have the uh, Ingbear's Imamate of Ularongo. Uh -huh. uh, we are at war with the Donned Order, Order of Dodor. We also have, we can attack the Stompy. Attack the Stompy. We can attack the Slave Rebels. Attack the Imposing Domain. You know what? No attacks this year. My Lord, Reformed Ra Raiders have marched on us. Do you want to watch the battle take place? Yes. 305 men in five lands, as I have. My men are spread equally across my land. There are 76 defenders at this one. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to hit twice. Beneath the Violet Storm, Reformed Raiders pause their march and stare forward with furious faces before charging. In the midst of the fighting, a pack of roaring bears charge onto the battlefield and attack several combatants before being killed off. Uh, we lost one, they lost eight. I'm glad the bears are on our side. They have 20, 229 soldiers. For a moment, the battle ceases and both sides stand and stare at each other. Um, I just lost a lot. On the edge of the battlefield, a tall tree is pulled down by the force of the storm and hits a spot of the battlefield held by you. I lost 15 troops. They fight forward, gaining a small uh, momentary advantage. Yeah, they're... Oh, they killed one of my knights? You feign withdraw and manage to get them uh, to move out of a better position. We took out... Ooh, a good po good number of them. This isn't going to end well, though. Left flank got hit. We just lost a lot. We just got whooped. The raid launched against us has been successful, and stored gold has been looted. 
All right. No, I've got a battle report of everything. Um, pay some edit head to create a fancy battle report with percentages. I'll, I'll look at it. So we lost 76, and uh, they lost not that many. 47. Okay. Though their attack fails, the Reform Raiders have damaged your defense palisades and left them there. So they just ran in and broke some stuff and left. I no longer have defense palisades, so we have to make sure to fix that up. The world word reaches you that your slave soldiers rise up against you and declare a save, slave revolt. Wait a minute, this is the first turn. Using the image of a pyramid in the night with an eye on it as their banner. Ansel Vampire Hunter has quit. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is the first year. Um, let's read our simple reports. Okay. Uh, I got 40 peasants in my lands. I, uh, I trained 20 peasants into soldiers. The pink seers attempt to raid and failed. My defense palisades managed to prevent a raid from happening, but it, it didn't. It must have happened a little later. Popularity went down to two. Um, we recruited 103 new peasants. That's militia recruits. Okay. Spy reports. Um... Eric attempted to raid the lands of the Dawned Order, but unsuccessful. Treasury has increased by 770 gold. Your bank has increased by five. How much gold do I have now? Like nothing? Move on. Okay, next year. We got no we got no gold. I'm broke. I'm completely broke. I have a bad opinion. What a terrible start. Um let's go uh let's go explore the realm. Let's go back north. Let's go to my, my fort here. And I can hire him with this cost money. Can I just have some? I can upgrade the walls. I can sell some. I have... Can I sell? I have 1,400 I can sell. I'm going to sell some. Uh, three gold each. I'm going to... Uh, 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 400. Okay. I got some money now. Um, okay, I want to go fix my palisades. That's what I really want to do. So let's go look at kingdom upgrades. And, like, is that a military building? No. Goes to the buildings, productivity, recruitment, what's maybe other buildings? Hey, Ams, thank you very much. Thanks for the community, the, uh, the gift subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I, uh, I'm not sure about where I fixed that up. Let's go recruit. Thanks again, Ams. <clears throat> oh, was it in the military? Did you see it? Um, kingdom upgrades. Oh, defense palisades. Yeah, 5,000. 5,000. I gotta make some money. Um, maybe what we do is we go on a little bit of a raid. Let's go to the throne room. Anyone waiting to see me? No one waiting to see you. You may sit in peace. Um, okay, we don't want to do that. Let's go back and explore and see what we can find. We're gonna go uh, south. Seemed like a good, uh, good, good place. It was just a hand on the ground. Got a little wagon carrying various goods. The wagon master, who identifies himself only as Wagon Man, recognizes you and bows. He requests a trade agreement with you. Sure. Okay, let's keep going. Fort Kulak, led by bandits. Old uh, bandit fortress belongs to Gore. Uh, fort is garrisoned, and they won't give it up without blood or gold. So I can attack the fort. There's 500 bandits here. Speak to the bandits. I can try to buy the fort if I had money. I can attack the guy. Let's go chat with the guy. I asked to speak with him. He says, "How about no?" Um, I, I think I have. How many people do I have? I have 340 men, so I probably would die if I attack them. I keep going south. Find nothing. I'm out of out of, out of searching. We can do. Um. Look at the bank. So I got 2,000 bucks stored in the bank. Oh. I have a bad interest, though. 
Well, I would like to inquire about a loan. I need a loan. 20% charge, 2% yearly. Yeah, yeah. Give me give me a loan. I want I want five I want four thousand. Okay. And I'm gonna go build my palisades back up. Yes, those. Okay. So palisades are built. I got no money now. Uh, if we can recruit, just like, I'm going to just hire peasants. How much are peasants? Um, 30 gold per head. How much did I pay before? They're like 40. Uh, I've played this a couple times. I think Splattercast probably, I think he's played this as well. 220 peasants. We can hire a few more. I might as well just use my money because I'm going to get all stolen anyway. <laughs> so I'll take six peasants, please. Okay, let's, let's end the year and see what happens. Uh, we could go fight somebody. We could go fight some rebels or something. I don't know who's out there, though. It's a problem. Um, there's a bandit horde out there somewhere. Is that who attacked us? Let's go get that bandit horde. So General Gorin uh, uh, is a scourge. Must be stopped. How do we attack him? We can skirmish. Quick battle. We can raid them. Try to steal some stuff. We can invade them. We can... Um, yeah, let's, let's get some information. They have a great deal of territory behind them. Ten lands that we know we need to capture before their capital. They have a little bit of gold in their vaults, so a raid may be worth considering. Okay, yeah, we'll, um... No, I'm gonna just, I just want to skirmish. Let's just do a little, quick little fight. Um, send all my troops in. Send everyone but my peasants. Send half my... Let's send half the troops in. We want to watch it take place? Yes. Okay, a cloudy sky adorns the battlefield. Do you wish to launch the attack or wait a while in hopes of more favorable weather? This seems pretty favorable to me. What's in the army? Under the cloudy sky, your army uh, very quickly marches out to meet its rival. One of your men shouts, Charge! I heard him. Two more armies clash. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got destroyed. I need, like, a number. I need numbers. I need, they, they killed, like, 80 of us? 81? And we killed eight? Eight bandits? Yeah, we clash. Killed a few more. There's 534 of them, which is a bit of a problem. They slaughtered me. All right. It was a bit of a failure. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, the rebels attacked us. You know what happened? I got 139 men in, in five lands. Oh, this isn't looking good. Okay. I lost five peasants. There's 300 people attacking me. I have nothing left. Man, we're getting destroyed. Now I got attacked by the raiders as well. I don't want to watch that one. They took one of my lands. Oh, my, my palisades broke again. I spent 5,000 bucks on those. I don't want to read those reports. <laughs> wow, how terrible. Uh, maybe we can go in like... How much is a mercenary company? They're going to be expensive. Yeah, they're real expensive. Like a group of goblins is 9,000 bucks. How am I going to make some money? I got a visitor. Let's go see what the visitor wants. Um, he wants to come and, um, he seeks refuge with you, having recently come to Oz with his ruler. Yeah, yeah, come on in, buddy. Okay. Um. Okay. How about, um, we explore the realm and we hope, maybe we'll find, like, 10,000 gold. We get real lucky. Let's go south some more. Pass by some unassuming rocks. As you peer closer, something catches your eye. You could swear the rocks had deep red eyes and were moving towards you. You hear a low grumble. You look down for a second and back again, but the rocks are still... Was this a mirage? Uh, let's keep on walking. You find a pair of lost knights who appear to be wandering aimlessly. Upon seeing, they recognize you and they both fall to their knees and pledge to join. Do you know who I am? Okay, well, yeah, this is good stuff. Keep going. A lava pit. Let's check it out. Lava pits believed to be a gateway to the world of demons, worshipped by a few. The pit is feared by most. Lava burns all that it touches. Uh, toss Jimmy in there. <laughs> Throw a peasant into the pit. He screams and shouts as he is consumed by the flaming pit. Rumor spreads of your peasant sacrifice. Um, Steve? 
For a moment, you swear you can hear a thousands of screams. What's an Eddie in there, too? Which one more? Three. Three is a magic, the magic touch. Okay. No more. We'll, we'll, let, we'll leave it at that. Okay. I meant to go and do something else. I didn't need to hit zero there. Uh, I'm not going to attack anybody because we're just going to die. So, uh, no fighting today. Okay, where reaches you that the slave revolt marched... Where reaches you that the slave revolt marched their 4,000-man army into one of your borderlands and burned to the ground, catching your guards by surprise? I now have one barren land. 4,000! Report the goings-on last year. Uh, oh, no, no one attacked me? Okay, it's more like it. No, I was pillaged. 900 gold. So I got 1,000 gold from taxes. I got some gold from caravan routes. My peasants got me some gold from harvests. I got some interest from my gold. The deserters are killed in an attempt to raid your lands. I like it. Slave revolt marched. Some outlaws running around. Alright. Alright. Um, okay, move on. I got three lands now and not five any hour. So let's go. I got 171 men. Let's let's go and do a um we'll go to the throne room. Let's see what we've got. Man claims to be a messenger of Fainor, leader of the bandit horde, says you are a bandit king and your rule and your rule over your people appears to be as wild as and, and unlawful as Fainor's. He offers you a truce. I accept this truce. I'm now truced with the bandit king. Excellent. Excellent. A meeting of the Council of Tarvek. Let's call a meeting. Head diplomat, old Kroll enters the room and fumbles into the seat. Spymaster comes in as well. Jester sits in. My uh, General Gorin sits down also. First meeting you and your council have held. Meetings are a tool for you to discuss various topics with your staff. There are five seats on the council. you be occupied if you have the corresponding staff, which are those. Okay. Uh, let's ask a question about finances. I want a bigger harvest. Not something I can help you with. Build a temple of harvests. Okay, okay. Shame we can't take the enemy's harvest, huh? That's a good idea. More peasants. Simple. Okay. Uh, what's... I want more trade. Speak to other kingdoms. They should trade with you if they like you. Okay, maybe we go talk with the, uh, the bandit lord. Trade with minor goblin tribes. It seems in inconsequential, but trade income adds up. Okay. Um... Question about the wider the wider realm. What do you know to the south? Place of terror and death. Maybe the south more than meets the eye. Beware, you may find answers there. It's scary. I heard a group of hardy nomads deep within the south. Not sure how friendly they are, but they might they aren't bandits. We're friends with the bandits. Okay. Um. If we want to do a temple, what's that going to be in other buildings? We can get a Goblin Slaver's personal guard. We can get throne room signs. We can get wooden climbing picks. I can't afford anything else. I can get a statue of myself. Uh, income buildings. Tribute collection boxes. 400 bucks to pay now, but 5% tribute from tributary locations. Hollow area. There's an emissary hut. Plus one emissary for contacting adventurers. Let's get some recruitment signs. More recruits every turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put up some signs. That, that'll do it. Signs. Let's go explore. I'm going to keep on going south. Just because it seems like a place to be. Ancient southern ruins. Approach some old ancient southern ruins. There isn't much left of what once stood here, and it looks like nothing you've ever seen before. All right. Old ruined demonic totem. Approach the ruins of an old demonic totem from times long past. It looks as though it was destroyed with some old lost magic. That has left it. Surrounding patch of land completely ruined for centuries. All right. Camp Azarok. Small camp of demon worshippers. They occasionally capture and sacrifice vagrant peasants for the demon horde and worship them every night with blood rituals. There are 44 demon worshippers here. 
Oh, it's, uh, let's get him. Send all my troops, half my troops, all the troops, get him. We should watch the battle. I, yeah, watch the battle. There's only, four, what is it, 44 of them? The crescent moon adorns the battlefield. Do you wish to launch the attack now? Yeah, nighttime, best time to get demon worshippers. Under a half moon, your army marches on to meet the opponents. Your army bursts into the simultaneous roar and charges for the enemy. The Azaraki fight forward and gain an advantage, managing to completely overrun you. There's only 44 of them. Come on now. Momentarily, you manage to take the left flank, trapping them momentarily, doing damage before the flank is, def is defended. We took out 18 of them now. There we go. Now we got this. You feign a slight retreat, only uh, to then move out and get them caught in a pincer movement. Oh, they only got eight left. Break through the center before forcing them to break. Uh, to back. We won something. Battle's over. You are brought. A battle report showing troops, uh, the losses, and survival. We got it. Uh, uh, give me that report. They had 44. We lost 30. Yeah, we, we know that. Uh, what's, what's the... Um, I'm going to pay some egghead to create a fancy battle report. On okay. Four phases. Um, 80. Oh, yeah. Look, percentages. Okay. I'm going to kill the egghead. <laughs> no, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Demon warships are run down to the last man. The camp is clear. Inside the camp, you find uh, your men find piles of human bones. Discover small uh, deposits containing 484 gold. Well worth the the attack there. Taking him a treasury. Okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to go to recruit. I'm going to go look at uh, hiring teammates. I'm going to go to like, like, what if we hire goblins? How much are goblins? Goblins are free. I like the sound of that. Farley the goblin slaver is brought before you. He offers to enslave goblins as little servants free of cost. He has 293 of them. Give me 293 then. Okay. Um, he, he brings him forth and, and breaks the chains, pointing at you, saying, this is your master now. Okay. He's out of goblins now. What about um, bandits? They're only 10 gold apiece. It's probably a bad idea, like, if, if they, you know, decide to, like, revolt. I can build a foreign mercenary hall to, to hire foreign mercenaries. Let's bring in some bandits. There's 84 of them available. Yeah, we'll hire them. I can afford all of them. I'll, yeah, bring them in. Okay. So we've got, we got 500 men now. Uh, the rest, I'm going to hire peasants. I can afford 32 of them. I'll buy 32 of them. Okay. Now I can, what kind of upgrades can we do? I don't have money, but... That's recruitment stuff. Okay. Uh, wages. Soldiers' wages are one gold. Night wages are three gold. I'm not paying my peasants or my goblins, of course. Um, I can set them free, I know. Let's go. What are the buildings we have in here? I can go to the prison? How many, how many prisoners do I have? No prisoners. Okay. Uh, that's there. Um, what laws of the land do we have? Taxes. Remove gambling tax. We can put a banking tax in up to 110 gold per land each year. And the land tax. I'm going to end the land tax. I need money, but we're going to end that because we want. We need a popularity boost. Plus four per popular opinion. That's something. That's something. I'm try you know, there's 4,000 rebels out there. We should do something. Um, okay. Let's go. Maybe a celebration. I declare a new celebration. What do we call this? This is this is Goblin Day. We just got a bunch of goblins in our in our um uh, in our uh, you know our kingdom here. We call it Goblin Day. It's every oh oh every every five years or so. Uh, yeah yeah every every five years. It's goblin Day. What do we do? <laughs> we sacrifice. Um, we burn some fires, and then we uh and we get drunk. That's a good combo. Uh, and then, and then, uh, just the occasional sacrifice. Okay. All right, so everyone will love that. What kind of evil policies we got? Declare a walking tax, a breathing tax. Declare pillaging. 
Declare Tarvik a slave kingdom and enslave all the people. I mean, we already kind of are. All right, uh, let's end the turn. 500 men. I could attack, but I think what I'm going to do... Um, i got a truce with the bandits. The rebels are a problem. There's like 4,000 of them, though, I think. Um, I'm curious about this stompy fellow. I don't want to attack him, but I just want to look at him. I need some information about him. One territory left. If we invade now and win, we will crush them. They have a little bit of gold in their vault, so a raid might be worth considering. If we get them, we can crush them. I want to... Yeah, we're going to... We're going to... We want to raid? We want to, we want to invade them. How many can they have? They got one land. How many people could they possibly have? Everyone, get in there. You wish to watch the battle? Yes, please. Snow is falling on the battlefield. Well, it's a Christmas time fight. Okay, let's do it. There's a plus 50% invasion defense battle strength bonus for Stompy. Not good, not good. Okay, through a snowy curtain, your army marches out to meet the opponent. Their army maintains its composure as it bursts forward to confront the enemy. Oh, we got a bonus there. You managed to form an effective pincer and overrun your opponent's flanks. There was only nine of them. There was a giant. There was nine giants is all they were, and we took them out. We did it. We gained land. I won. I did something right. Congratulations, my king. Stompy has been crushed. Their kingdom is no more, and their lands are now yours. As your men cheer for victory, some call out in praise for of Tarvik, calling it an empire. A famed knight who has been leading a small mercenary army against them has joined you. I got a, I got a knight. I got 120 soldiers. I got people like me now. The last ruler of Stompy, Hunt Marshal Tower, the sun god, is brought. What a name! Is brought before you in chains by your soldiers. They await your orders. Hunt Marshal Tower, the sun god says, "Got me in chains, you dog." I'd cut you from ear to ear if I had the chance. What do we do? Do we chop his head off? Do we make him drink poison? Do we toss him from the highest cliff? We exile him. We set him free. You shall become my champion. Just, just, just uh, off with his head? I think just off with his head. If I exile him, he's going to come back. Force him to become my champion. He didn't fight very well. He's got a cool name, though. All right, all right. You know what? I like this. He, you know, I like, I like, I like the. Uh, um, he's not, you know, he's not like uh, uh, sucking up to me. You know, he's he's he tells me how it is. You're you're uh, you're now my champion. Hunt Marshall Tower, the Sun God, grow, grows and says, I think he growls. And says, I'd rather die than serve you, Cretan. Uh, so is that a yes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, so Stompy lost nine. We lost ten. And uh, yeah, that's a good report. Okay. Spies have learned that a fight between burgling mockingbird guardians and Arak. Want to watch this? I don't know what that means. Oh, the spies telling me this. Sure. Sure. So there's the burg the burgling mockingbird guardians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a bunch of goblins, looks like. You're fighting who? There's a lot of them. There's no, there's no goblins anymore. So, uh, uh, Arak just lost. All right. The dastardly pink seers are attacking us. Yeah, let's watch that. I have 500 men in four lands. Oh, it's, uh, it's stormy. The stormy sky pink seers pause their march and stare forward with furious faces before charging. Ooh, there's a lot of them. It's actually a pretty close fight there. Hey, Jeffrey, how's it going? They fight forward and gain advantage, completely overrunning us. Oh, not as close anymore. Oh, we're getting, we're doing terrible. No, oh, we're doing horrible. Those goblins, fight better goblins. Uh, a volley of silver arrows pour out over the hills. The strong winds blow most of them away, but some hits. No one knows where they came from. Oh, yeah? I did not, it was not as close as I was hoping it was going to be. <clears throat> dad joke. Huh? I, got, I got one more Christmas dad joke in here. What is the most popular Christmas wine? But I don't like uh, Brussels sprouts. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's it. I think that, I think that's that's you. Uh, um, I think unless I got another one in here, that's that's the end of the Christmas dad jokes. Um, I think that's it. That's it. So pat yourselves on the back. You made it. You made it through. You did it. You did it. Battle over your broad to a battle report. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. I know it was bad. We got whooped. Here, word at owner of a local pit, uh, fight pit, Ugamar Alfrickson, has upgraded to a little arena. The little arena is sure to become a popular place for entertainment within the realm. It now has its own grand champion. It will be 10 fights per year. Although the slave revolt, slavers' fort in the near north was destroyed. All the slavers were killed, and the slaves held within are now free men. Many of them joined the slave revolt. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not, not good. There's now 6,000 of them. Where reaches you that Slave Revolt marched their 6,000 man army into one of your borderlands and burned it to the ground? Can you please stop doing that? Old Crows quit. <laughs> Sir Horns quit. I don't want to see the reporter last year. <laughs> um. Okay, okay. Uh, I got no money. I do have some men. Let's see if we can, we can get like um, uh, um, maybe some free goblins. How many goblins? You got two hundred seventy-one goblins. I'll take them. Okay. Um, must be seven hundred. Good news is we get attacked. We only got three lands to defend now instead of five. Someone else is free, but we could go and like, um, we can explore and go, wasn't there to the, was it East, was the trade guy? Yeah. I guess we can just talk to the guy. How much money is, is trade worth, is trade with you worth to me? It would stand to make you somewhere in the range of 100 or so per year. Yeah, we see it coming in there. Uh, let's keep going east. Maybe there's more trade over this way. I found a wandering group of nine masterless peasants. One of them steps forward and says, We're looking for work. Got any? More work. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. You were hit by a, a harsh desert wind. You have to cover your face for a moment as your body is brushed by tens of thousands of grains of sand. For a, moment, a few seconds it stops and the fur of deserts uh, returns to its calm state. A, f uh, a few new dunes now lining its visage. Find a satchel of 200 coins. What? There's just bags of money out here? <laughs> Thanks, Exy. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna hire a diplomat to do that. I don't have any money, though. I got money in the bank, don't I? I got 2400 bucks. Yeah, 2400 bucks in the bank. Interest rate's 0.15. Should I take my money out and then go spend it on something? I could just take. The, I could raid the bank, which I did the last time. And they got me kicked out. They didn't like that, so we won't. We won't do that. Um, let's go and if I hire a diplomat, we could try. I, I think what we should do. Can I? Oh my symbol! Oh my symbol! I can't even see. There's a little icon that appears on all your flags and banners. Currently, is the T of Tarvek. As a ruler, I can change it. Yeah, let's change that. Choose a... Uh, so it's a T flag. I choose... Please choose a... A what? A symbol from the list of symbols below. You may change this at any time. I will take... A question mark. That's it. Now everyone will don that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um... Hmm, faction rankings. How are we doing here? So the the richest is is Dodor. Most territory is Dodor with ten lands. Most troops is the Bandit hordes. So don't attack them. Good. I'm glad they like us. Um, the rebels have a lot of units. The imposing domain has a lot of peasants. Most densely populated faction is the Bandit horde. Okay. Um. What about the, my questing? Can I have any questing knights? Maybe I need to go to the, I need to go to the throne room for that. Let me change my throne room stuff real quick because I, I I kicked everyone out. Maybe I should have some stuff coming in and talking to me. 
So set my rules back up. So we will allow... We'll allow some more things. Okay. Especially uh, goblins. No one's here to talk to me. I'm getting kind of lonely because no one ever is ever here to talk to me. I need a, I need a diplomat to, to um, learn about ra managing the realm. Um, I'm thinking about hiring a diplomat. Let's get one. So we got Mana the Fool. Semi-diplomatic. So I was told the tavern they'll serve you for 125 per year. Darius, the flatulent cobbler. 54. <laughs> okay, good name. And then Drac the Fool. Sound like my kind of guy. If you have a lands and know much about the customs, it'd be a source of great pride to work for you. He pay he wants a lot of money. If you're hired, buddy, I, maybe I can get one year out of you. Um So back to the throne room. And let's go do a um, not that one. I want not not that one. I wanted um, I forget where it was now. Diplomacy. There it is. So can we like talk with um? I need to be at least eighty skill to speak with the slave revolt. How about some deserters? There's one. There's one guy. We can we can bribe the deserter to disband. We can hire him. We can attack him. There's one guy. Kill him. We should watch the battle. Yeah. Send him forth. Charge. Charge. One guy dead. <laughs> okay. In the name of Tarvik. Okay, good good job, everyone. Good job. Uh, can we chat with... Let's chat with some goblins. How about Krut? King Ulat. I can't, I can't talk with him because they're, they're too savage. How about uh, Eric? They're too savage. They only have 300 goblins. 300 goblins and 7 and 7. Can we just attack? Maybe we should attack them next turn. Um, there's other bandit groups out there as well. Let's go find... Farley the Goblet Slayer. I think we talked to him before. Oh, we can make him like us a little more. Have him executed. Um... Let's chat with the independent territories, and we're at war with the hippogriffs. They keep attacking us. I don't like them. Actually, we should we should talk with uh, Dodor because they're mean, or they're big. Let's send. A, let's offer peace. I'm going to send a knight as an emissary. Send your emissary off to try to speak with with the Don Dodor of Dodor. Uh, anything can happen. Several things can impact your chances of success. Here's such a request of peace is met by a ruler of Don Dodor of Dodor. Uh, Grand Master Zarin the Goat approaches you. Peace? It wants peace? Give us one of your lands and we'll agree. But I need my lands. You want my land? I'll be taking yours soon enough. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't resist. I'd like to see you try. Okay, okay. Um... These are the crested edge druids. We're not gonna worry about that. They're kind of mean. Uh, the hippogriffs just attacked us. Let's chat with the hippogriffs. There's a lot of them. How about peace? Cenonite. <laughs> okay. Emissary carries out what a question mark for peace is met by the ruler. I don't think it's our interest just yet. He says. I think it is, actually. I need someone to be, like, buddies with me. You actually kind of like me. How about some trade? They're very xenophobic. Hmm. Okay. How about the imposing domain? A lot of, a lot of units. Trade? Got King Krularar Red Cloak. 
Trade, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, trade agreement. Ten relations to do that. What if I give you, uh, some gold? How about 74 gold? Plus one. I can hire troops from you? Oh, you guys are, I can hire an orc. I should be doing that. Uh, they're not gonna do an alliance, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, okay. I can offer, attempt to offer a vassalization. What about, um, this Tarvik militia? And then we've got adventure groups. What's the currently active adventure groups you know of? Uh, try to contact them. Let's talk with the, uh, the Grand Daggers. They're a group of brown magi who engage in thievery. They're wary of us, but not outright hostile. I can summon them to my, uh, my throne room. I can send out a group to fight them. Yeah, come on in and have a chat with me. Uh, with an offer. Okay. He off, tries to convince him. Uh, he refuses to meet your emissary. Well, how dare you? Alright. Alright, let's end our year. Zero gold. 700 men. Um, I'm thinking... There's the pink seers who are the ones that attacked us before. We got the um, venerable vagrants we're truced with and the bandit horde. We're, we're at war with the reformed raiders who attacked us before. I'd like to hit them back. We have six lands. We have scraps of gold left. I don't know how many people. I don't have a clue how many people they have. Change my mind. Um, who was the one? Eric had like no one, right? Eric the green scum. Let's attack. Let's invade. Let's get some, some details first. Seven lands. A little bit of gold. Okay. Um, we're going in. We're taking them out. Everyone, uh, everyone get in there. Clear skies. Send the army. Charge in. Fain withdraw. I killed all nine of them. Sent 700 people in. Oh no, no, I killed a lot more. I lost nine. They lost, what, 56? Okay. I, um, I can't afford to, afford to pay the guy, but there we go. There's our reports. I'm under attack by the pink seers. Okay, defense bonus for me. Good, good. How many of them are there? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, maybe. They lost 16. We lost... I got a lot of goblins. It was a problem. I got lost 14. I lost a lot more. Those goblins are dying fast. Goblins are dying real fast. Pink seers. I gotta get the pink seers. They're just a thorn in my side. In the midst of fighting, a small man climbs atop a rock to play his trumpet. For a moment, fighting stops and many applaud the trumpet player. Then seemingly out of nowhere, the fighting resumes with the same ferocity. <laughs> okay. Oh, they took my land. Okay. Alright. We gotta hit the pink seers. So let's go let's go uh recruit some more goblins. I got 81 of them. I'll take all 81 of them. I got 700 bucks. So we could go and hire something good, like how much are bandits are cheap, right? They're only 10 gold. Only three though. I'll take the three. Um how much are knights? Knights are, are 700 gold. I could hire one of them orcs. I want to do that. Let's go, um... Where's my, uh, where's my diplomat? I want to chat with... Who was that before? Independent, right? And it was, um... It was Ularongo? No, there's xenophobic. Was it, um, the imposing domain? Yeah. I want to hire some troops. Yeah, I want to, I want to orcs. I can, hold, I can hire a reaver? Yes. I want a reaver. How many do I want to buy? 
Uh, give me three of them. Okay. And I also want to buy one of your... Uh, give me two of your stone orcs. Okay. I'm broke now. No relation is one, still. I'd love to have a trade agreement. I need ten to do that. Information we have here. Brutish appearance and protruding tusks. Orcs are known as powerful but savage race of warriors. The famed words are, they sail, then they fled. Good, good, good. So that's 164 battle score. I'm not sure what that... And those are also Reaver Lords. What do I have? So my peasants are 50. Soldiers are 100. And then... Okay, so not, they're not that much better. But they're a decent little better. Not, probably not worth what I paid. Not worth what I paid at all, probably. Alright, uh, there's somebody in the, in, the, in the room. Let's go see what's going on. There's a one-armed townsman who claims one of your soldiers killed his favorite chicken, Sir Golzak. I don't think we'll bring him back, but reparations are due. 56 gold in reparation for that? Get out of here. Okay. Traveling bard, he asks you to show the singing ways of the old orcish. I'm a decent musician. I shall play you a lengthy song. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Um. Um, what's your name? His name is Glumnakov. Where are you from? I'm a member of the Musician's Guild. Uh, what's your name again? He hasn't changed since you last asked. <laughs> uh, you wanna, you wanna get hired as part of my staff? I got 11 gold. Yeah, you're hired. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Next visitor. I got an insane man who claims one of your soldiers tricked him out of a bag of gold and he wants it back to the dungeons. Oh, man. Always public opinion going down. Um, all right. Visited by an inexperienced scholar who claims to have found a strange orb within an old hermit's cavern. Experienced soul scholar wants to sell it to you for 30 gold. I don't have 30 gold, but I will take it from you. Hand you the orb and leave, upset and angry. The orb is yours, but as you don't have an artifact hall, it's put into storage temporarily. It's a chaos orb. Public opinion is down again. Next visitor. Townsman wants to join as an army as a seer. Sure, come on, buddy. With a bald fist and a big grin, then leaves your court to collect his equipment. Famous woodsman wishes to fight for the country. Yeah, come on in, buddy. Come on in. I'll use ya. Uh, let's go explore a little bit. We're going to go, uh, let's keep going north. My fort there is now r r ruined. Um, nothing up north. Found a wandering group of ten masterless soldiers. Their leader steps forward and says he is, and his men are willing to join us for no less than twelve gold. Um, alright. I can't afford them. There's a black market of bandits. Filled with brim of people of all shapes and sizes. Bandits, traders, farmers... Poor folk, mercenaries, workers. All this under the watchful eye of a local bandit army under the command of King of the Black Markets, Drake the Scorcher. Um, I will go... Let's go to the slums. Let's hire some scum. How much are they? Ten gold apiece. I don't... I can't afford anything. Let's go to the, the old wizard tower. Uh, known that it's uh, established Black Market fell under the rule of Dark Twisted Wizard. Uh, okay. Uh, slaver post. They're five piece. A bug hunter's hut. See a small sign that says bug hunter on the side. Yeah, we'll go in there. A hut met by a man who identifies himself as Nicholas. Thick beard, wearing a, bind a blindfold. Uh, who are you? I'm Nicholas. Um, tell me more about this. Not as bug-ridden as it used to be, but there's always something new trying to fester here. Not on my watch. Why do you hate bugs? I don't hate them. I can live alongside them, but they are annoying. No one else seemed to do much, to be doing much, so I've taken it on myself to get rid of me as I can't. Well, that's a good story. Good story. 
Um, guild row. Slums. Dirty. All right. Good, good chat. Good chat. Okay, let's go one. Oh, I can't wait for it. All right. Uh, next. Now, I think... We, it seemed to work pretty well against Eric. I think we do that again. Although I really want to hit the Pink Seers. I don't like them. They have a fair bit of territory behind them. Nine lands I need to capture before. But I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm scared. Let's do a quick skirmish. We're going to send in everybody. Heavy rain. Let's uh, we can sling a chaos orb into the sky. Yeah, yeah, sling it. It breaks and suddenly a strange luminous flog fog shrouds the battlefield. You gonna launch your attack? Yeah, now's the time to fight. Watch the chaos orb effect of the sky changes your army. Troops prepare to fight. Okay. Through the glowing mist, your army marches forward to meet its rival. Your army maintains its composure as it bursts forward to confront the enemy. They don't have too many. We took down 39 bandits. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got this one. As long as my um, my orcs don't die. They're expensive. Losing a lot of goblins. Goblins are cheap, free. I can declare it. I need... Yeah, it's just in the name of Tarvek. Excellence. The reformed raiders have attacked us. We got 210 uh, defending this one. I mean, they have... 283 and they're, yeah they're gonna they're gonna destroy us oh they killed one of my they killed my reaver he was expensive yeah they're, they're uh, kind of slaughtering us all right okay we got 19 years left um let's do a quick look to our south Keep going south. Burned village remains. Of course, the ruins of an old southern village that has been somewhat recently destroyed by an unknown force. In the center of the village lies a demonic totem tower which seems newer than the carnage. Ah, destroy it. Quick, say the word and the totem is quickly destroyed. Its rubble quickly turns to red dust and blows away within moments of collapsing. There's a strange white milestone on the side of the road written in strange ancient language. But looking at it, you feel a little more determined to carry on. All right. Little totem of Zolux. Where's a little totem of Zolux? Totem has a horrible demonic aura around it and it reddens the nearby sky. Destroy it! Alright. Let's keep going. Grand totem of Zephanon. It has a horrible demonic aura around it and it reddens the dark. Yeah, destroy it! Okay. Next, you wander across a patch of barren land that could be made more arable if you had the means to terraform it. Oh, we gained a land. A barren one, but we gained a land. How do we terraform our lands? We've got like three barren lands now. I don't have any money. Okay, we'll take all 43 of them. Um, Probably an upgrade, isn't it? Goblin Slaver's personal guard. Yeah, we gotta make sure we keep that guy alive. He's kind of important for us. I don't have any money for really anything else. Yeah. Well, I think uh, we we do. Um, oh, there's people waiting for you. This is by a drunk man who says, I wish to gaze upon the mighty person who created Goblin Day. It was me. I did it. The drunk smiles and says, I, I imagined you to be taller. This is by a hiccuping drunk who goes, great one. Thank you for allowing us this wondrous celebration before falling asleep. Excellent. Uh, take him to a nice room to sleep. Have him tossed out of the court. Uh, take him to a nice room. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a good guy. <laughs> okay. Goblin Day. I love it. Um, so we could try to hit, uh, these, these pink seers. We hate those guys, and it worked last time. We can go for the goblins. 
I don't know what the, I'm not sure what the, what the rebels are doing. The slave rebels. Let's go hit this pink seers again. It worked last time. We're going to do it again. And we're going to invade them this time. Send everyone in. Uh, falling snow. Yeah, we're going in. It gives them a bonus. Yeah. A few of us break ranks, but it's a trick. Luring the enemy out of formation. Your men charge forward. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. We lost some goblins. We lost our twin stone orc. We got 26 of them. Okay. So it's a snowy fight. 35 of them there. They're, they're killing more of me. Ooh, that was rough. That was real rough. That was extra rough. Oh, it's just cold. We just people are dying because it's so cold. Ooh, it's a bad fight. In the midst of the battle, someone farts. The smell quickly engulfs a small portion of the battlefield and ceases the fighting for a moment while the men wait for the stench to disperse. Okay, man, we got destroyed there. Successful, sort of. We took a land from the pink seers. Uh, man, that was ugly. Rebels are attacking us. I got 46 defenders here. And there is 400 of them. We died quick. The rebels are causing problems. Hey, Burns. Happy holidays, Burns. Uh, Alright. The pink seers are attacking us. Stormy night again. There's a lot more of them than there is us. We've got... Well, they're all died in one, one swing. We've got... I have like one land left? My uh, my leader, Militia, has stepped down in shame after a scandal with the Militia ranks. The new leader is Nethereal, the womanly commander. Sworn in. <laughs> okay. Uh, new recruits making sure they're paid better, too. You're making people... All right, fine. All right. Uh, I got two lands left. No gold. This is kind of looking kind of bad. Um, let's hire some goblins. Good, good, good. We need a lot of them. Okay. Uh, I got no money. We can take out another loan. Disarm soldiers convert them to pe peasants. Can't convert knights to recruits without a recruitment hall. Okay. Um... Gone. We're only eight tiles south, so we go a little bit further south, I guess, if we want to keep on looking at the demonic lands. No, yeah, we lost something there. Another totem we can break. Okay. More. Approached by a knight. My lord, I have traveled day and night to find you. I wish to fight for you. You seem trustworthy. Okay. Visitors. Next. Jester's son says, Hello, Lord. I've come to read you a joke on behalf of my father's who's too sick to come. He says that the king should be made to laugh from time to time. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What's it called when a chameleon cannot change his color anymore? A reptile dysfunction. <laughs> that, that was an okay joke. He nods and leaves. <laughs> yeah, those totems are going to destroy me in one of these days. Next. Visited by a morbidly obese farmhand. Who claims one of your soldiers punched him. Right in the snout. Bloomin' hurt as well. I reckon I deserve a little reparation for that. All I did was ask him if he knew where the nearest tavern was. Uh, I got no gold, so I'm gonna say no. no. Okay, sorry I bothered you, he says. This is by a young man who claims he's to be a distant cousin of yours. He requests you loan him a thousand gold. I have no gold. Verify his identity. Spymaster? I don't have a skill to figure this out. What good are you? Well, you get nothing. Uh, one person left. The guards bring forward a man who's been accused of sleeping with skeletons. Uh, excuse, explain yourself. She was my wife. I miss her dearly. To the dungeons! Okay. Okay. Maybe you know what we need? We need to go, we need to, go to the arena. Let's, let's go there. Uh, I can't watch a fight. I don't have any money. I can't afford to bet anything. But I do have a grand champion, right? I got... What's his face? I don't think he ever actually joined me. Um, so... I have no champions. He didn't stay with me, did he? Um, 
Um. Okay. 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 Um. Attack the arena. All right. Next turn. Not the not the best of turns. I think we're doing it this turn. We're gonna sit. Eric is attacking us. Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch that one. Eric, we can take him out. We get a defense bonus. He's attacking with 53 of them. Okay. Throw in some stones. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna slaughter these guys. Oh, we slaughtered them! Okay. Excellent. Got a lot of trade and harvest. Caravan routes are bringing me money in. Two gold interests. I got a lot of... I was always pill pillaging going on. The slave rebels are always grabbing new people. I want... What I want to see is... No one's in the throne room? Uh, let's go talk with the diplomats. I want to chat... I really want to see if we can get this this guy, this imposing domain, steered our way. Um... What I, if I get, what was it? If I get five, I can, like, I can hire, I can't hire, wait, that's where we got our orcs from. Um, trade agreement was, was ten, wasn't it? So if I give you gold, I don't have a lot of gold to give you. I'd like to get them, like, like a buddy, you know? But I don't think it's worth their cash I'm just going to spend on them. Does anyone like me? None of you guys do. What about, uh, that's it, isn't it? What about the bandit hordes? I can bribe them, I can bribe them with five million gold again to this band. In relationship with other factions. What would you guys do to attack the, 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 the other folks? All right, no, no, no good there. Rebels, I can pay him to stop fighting me. Um, Eric, we know we don't like this guy. Okay, let's keep on going south. Totem. Spot a rotten head on the ground, covered in blood. Okay. Nope, there we go. Okay, um, we're going to recruit some more goblins. 200 of them available, good. we got 500 gold, so we can get a few folks in here. Um, peasants cost 41 gold. Soldiers cost 40. Soldiers are cheaper than peasants. Bandits, however, cost only 10 gold. I'm going to hire 26 bandits. And then... I think it'd be a good idea to spend some money on like more signs so we can get more people in here. So I, I don't buy them every time; they'll just they'll just sort of come in. We get an ability post, chance of getting a knight every turn. Um, goblin hut is one in three chance of a goblin joining you every turn. Sure. Hey, Draven, how's it going? So 100 gold left. Uh, I can't buy anything else with it, so I'm gonna go and pass the turn, and we're gonna go attack. I'm going to take some of Eric's land again. Eric's no good. Okay, there's only 31 of them. We slaughtered them. I think we I think we get that guy taken out. Oh, the pink seers are taking us. They're going to they're going to take us out. 179 are defending and he's got how many? 199. It's like equal. Oh, look at that. A strong wind rips across the land and throws them throws them down. They lost 18 people just by that. But now we're going to start dying. Yeah, I just lost a ton of gods. My, my goblins are just nothing compared to their bandits. Took some gold. And the reformed raiders are attacking us as well. Raging sandstorm coming in. They lost 64 just from the sandstorm. That's more like it. I don't. I can't fight anything, but sandstorms can. Uh -oh. 
Okay. Well, it's not not been a good I've been a good run. We're gonna we're gonna keep on going south though. Head south. Oasis is one of the few places in the south that is prosperous and populated. The rest being wastelands and ruins. Some kind of magic at play. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go to the southern ruins. Okay. Uh, we can head south. We can go to parched. Uh, let's go to parched. Parched lands is an uncomfortably warm place, full of dry rock and hard sands. Oh yeah, we're back over here. Okay, keep on going. Find a small black orb of, on the ground near a cave entrance. It's a orb of chaos. Hey, good. We've had one of those before. Okay, we got people visiting us. Uh, my lord, I have something important to tell you. Takes a moment and then says, You smell! Before running out the door laughing. Guards, kill him! They react late and confused, and the befouled working man gets away. What? Oh, man. I'm an expert musician. I have a song to play for you. Sure, sure. He plays a song. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. It's a great performance. Um, play again. Put some clothes on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. What's, what's your name? Horlaf. Alright. Um, yeah, yeah, bye. Farmer wishes to complain. I'm a king. I have discovered that the foul rumor of your bandit armies are truth. Brings me the honest man to wonder what the other dark secrets you keep. Uh, yeah, I'll do something about it. Sure. Sure, sure. Alright, no one else is here. So, with my 150 bucks, we're going to bring in a nobility post. Maybe get a knight every turn. And bring in some goblins. Probably our problem is our army is filled with goblins. They're not very good. Okay. Uh, no attacking this time. Eric marched on us, but we can defend that. We lost a few folks, but there we go. We got them. We got them flanked. We just yeah. We took. Oh well. Now we got them. Okay. The reformed raiders are attacking us. They're probably going to beat us. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Spy master quit. Uh, uh oh. I'm a little broke. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and check out. Um. There's a thing in here. We can... I'm gonna retire and see what happens. What was that one at? Not that one. Um, throne room? Oh, retire from ruling the realm. Let's see what's in the throne room first. Man claims to be from Black Market. So must destroy Black Market in the near north. Drake the Scorcher is the most evil man. The Black Market is a place of darkness. No thanks. He has one thing to say, and he burps. Visit by a wise man who says he has some advice to share at cost of 12 gold. To the dungeons. Wrong button. Visit by a local stick collector who wants to join your army because he's bored. Sure, come on in, buddy. Next. God brings forward a man who's been accused of sleeping with skeletons. Execute this disgusting man. A man who claims to be from Black Markets? Uh, it, find and capture it. it. Holds great riches, magic, and mystery. Thanks! An employed wood gutter wants to join us. Come on into the army, buddy. One more peasant. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm going to retire from ruling the realm. See what happens. Before you consider retirement, be aware that this will end your gain. You'll be able to load from your previous save. Yada, yada. I'm sure. Retire from public duties and live out the remainder of your life peacefully. In time, you become old and frail, and you know your end is, your end is near. You've died. Preparing for sleep, you feel unwell and break out in a sweat. The room begins spinning, and you fall over to the floor and violently begin vomiting. Blood pours from your ears, eyes, and nose. You've died of poisoning. <laughs> okay. Time is up. Uh, by the end, I had 302 troops, 3 lands, and 2,400 gold. Uh, uh, my unit points... 
185. Okay, oh, but battle score, gotcha. Gold points, land points. I earned the title of Unworthy. Sixth lowest title possible in War Sim. Want to find out what happened in your realm after your, your reign ended? Yes, I do want to know. <laughs> Many openly celebrate your death and stories of your cruel and unjust rule survives for decades. Following your death, there is a great discussion of who should succeed you. Many nobles and prominent figures put themselves forward for hours and they drink and debate. While mid-speech, one of the nobles chokes and falls to the ground and some rush to help him. They soon all begin to choke. A minute later, the entire court is dead from poisoning. The door cracks open and an obscure relative of yours, Gorvak, the unwell, enters the throne room laughing. Steps over the corpses and takes the crown. All hail the king. Gorvak, the unwell, takes the control and immediately moves to root out corruption and help the poorest folk within the realm. Under his many reforms, the realm prospers and grows. Time of great demonic horde rises up and marches for the lands of the living. Tales of their destruction travel far, saying that all in their path are totally destroyed. Within weeks, the horde is at the Tarvek gates. Time to fight is nigh. Completely outmatched by the demonic horde, Tarvek sends its entire army out regardless. When the two armies meet, the fighting is short, and by the end of it, every last man is dead and demons reign supreme. The horde eventually reaches Tarvek, unchallenged, and wipes it off the face of the world before moving on to spread further death and destruction of the realm of the living. Game over. Oh, well, there we go. What a game. What a game. Man, I don't know what to say other than what a game. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time I um, I play that game, I think how great this is. ASCII graphics, completely re uh, randomly generated stuff. I don't remember what happened. To I remember a couple times I played. One time I I played. Sorry, I can't. I saw hydrate there from forty minutes ago. Sorry about that. I missed that one. Um, one time I I attacked the bank, and then everyone rose up and like kicked and like, I think they killed me. Um. And then another time, I was just wandering through the desert. Or I was wandering through one of the places. I think it was in the desert. And I came across, like, a demon that just, like, zapped me and I died. So, I've never had a good game of Aslona, of War Sim. But, anyway, there it is. 1.0 is now out. So, um, um, so ends the life of, um, what's-his-face? 